Hi and welcome to another episode of Troubleshoot This. My name is Chris and in this one I will show you how to reset your motherboard's BIO settings or clear CMOS settings as some of you might know it. Let's get started. Okay, looking at our motherboard here, the reason why you want to do a uh, reset on your BIO settings or your CMOS settings as they call it um, is because sometimes you mess with the settings uh, on the BIOS before you boot up your system you press on uh, sometimes F2 or the Dell key on your keyboard and if you do a setting wrong on one of those it may cause your computer to become unstable so one thing you can do to see if you can fix it uh, if it did not affect too much on your operating system is to reset all the settings on your motherboard and looking at these three boards that we have here um, I will be showing you uh, the most common way on how to do it and another way to alternatively reset your CMOS settings. So if you have a motherboard similar to this, uh, it'll be a full-size ATX board. And commonly they have a coin type battery right here. So um, let me zoom in on that. So uh, as with most manufacturers, most of the settings are saved on the motherboard and is being preserved by this battery here. The, there's, the battery provides power to the motherboard so it can preserve the BIOS settings that you have set on it. Now, like I said, if something doesn't work right, uh, one thing we can do to reset it is to dislodge the battery. There's usually a clip on the right side using a small tool and it just pops out like that. It is usually a CR2032 battery coin battery that you can find on your uh, hardware store and leave it disconnected for maybe about five or ten minutes and then after that you can just like slot the battery well first on that side like here and then press it in it'll click in place and that should reset your CMOS or bio settings now on different boards they are found in different places for this one specifically if you have your graphics card here, you may have to take it out first so you can remove the battery on that one. On this next board, it is conveniently placed on the bottom, so there's no dismantling necessary for your uh, for your graphics card. And on this one, um, this one, I'm afraid if your card is a little bit thicker, about a two or three uh, slot size, you may have to take it off to to get to the battery itself. Uh, if that is somewhat of an issue for you, if you really don't want to dismantle your hardware, there is an easier way of doing the CMOS or BIOS reset. And I will show you that right now. Okay, I have zoomed in to the bottom of our boards. And if you look closely, somewhere towards here, or maybe towards the other side, there will always be a pair of pins right here and these are labeled uh, clear CMOS CLR CMOS so another thing you can do to reset your BIOS without taking anything apart is so once you have the computer shut down disconnected you can take a standard uh, screwdriver like so and then look for these two pins here and all you have to do is short them together just you can put your screwdriver on it like so oh sorry about that uh, just make sure the two pins are touching they're being conducted together hold it there for about two to three seconds and immediately that should reset all your CMOS settings and your BIOS settings moving on to our next board here it is also by ASRock but this is an Intel board this will also have that same two pins you can see here it's labeled CLR CMOS once again, just take your screwdriver or whatever um, you have to short the pins out. Stick it on there. Make sure they are connected. Two, three, maybe four and five seconds. And that should be it. Our last board here is an ASUS board. And on these models, you may have to look a little bit harder. You see it? It is located right here at the bottom of the... Uh, uh, last PCIe slot and you can see it's right there CLRTC these are the two pins 
once again short them out two three four five and you should be good to go now if you have any questions of any of these uh, methods are not working uh, I would suggest taking off the uh, oh, what do I have here there it is okay there we go <laughs> taking off of the battery honestly I would take off the battery as a last resort uh, I would try to short the pins out first that's just the uh, most common way of doing it is to remove the coin battery it ensures that there's no power to the system and everything resets but apart from that basically that's how you do it you look for the CLRTC pins right here some boards will be in the middle and on other boards it will be under the PCIe it's always the two pins always look for that Thanks so much for watching and if this video helped you out, please hit that like button. And if not, then leave a comment down below so we can troubleshoot your issues further. And lastly, don't forget to click that subscribe button and that bell icon as well so you can be notified of the new helpful troubleshooting videos once they are uploaded. We'll see you on the next one.